those lives, the value those lives were to our communities, and also to think about the work that we need to do to honor who they are. I want to say that I am Dion Carter, Executive Director of Vallejo Together. And when I saw this, I was able to see the light that she brought. Her fingerprint is on so many things to advocate for the least of these here in the city of Vallejo. So I am honored to be able to stand on the shoulder to provide the love and support and care that our homeless brothers and sisters need. What I'm going to do first is I would like to read a sacred word. found in Matthew 5, verses 3 through 10. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see our Creator. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of our Creator. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom. As we spend this night honoring those who have passed, we can also take a moment to think of those spending this night without shelter. As we reflect on those individuals, we should ask ourselves tough questions. Why has our society tolerated this for so long? Why do those without homes who transition why aren't they even honored? I want to thank each and every one of you for being here because their lives matter. The more that we are together, the more that we honor the community that we are called to serve, the more power we will have. So we come together tonight to honor those who other people may not honor to cherish the lives of those who brought smiles, who had families, who had friends who loved them. And I just wanna say that as we stand here together tonight, may we feel the energy and the spirit of our sister and let us continue the work that we must do and are called to do on behalf of those. And we are going to honor the names. Actually, Lisa is going to read a poem. Um, this poem was written by Maria. This poem was written by Maria. And I remember the first time I heard it was at a um, ceremony that she held on behalf of that we lost in a lot at River Park. There are no homeless people when there's a place for them in your heart. There are no helpless souls when caring, caring for them is the start. There is no difference between us and them when it's only about a home, for a human should never be defined by the description of their dome. Destitute, less fortunate, rejected, and a bum are adjectives used to define our friends who are fathers, mothers, daughters, and sons. Call them a friend and love them like one too. Embrace their imperfections as you would want others to do unto you. You don't have to give them money, but you can always give them a smile, learn their names, wave hello, Stay in chat for a little while. 
For it isn't the lack of food that brings our friends most pain. It is the lack of recognition that they are still human and more importantly, treated the same. You may be the only light in their very dark and lonely world. You may remind them that love still exists amidst all the hate that's hurled. For we don't need to know every detail of the reasons of their whys to help them in their present needs and quell their silent cries. There are no homeless people. When there is a place for them in your heart, there are no helpless souls when caring for them is the start. Amen. Then unnamed. So we're going to call out each name. There's over 45 names. This is going to ring the bell after each name. Adriana, age 24. Sotero Campos, age 24. Matthew, age 31. Matthew Vallejo. Roger, in spring 2021. Michael Darwin, March 2021. Unknown Man, March 2021. Unknown Man, July 2021. Maria Guevara, May 7, 2020, age 45. Mama D. Foster, September 2021. Cindy Castaneda, November 10th, 2020. Brian August, 2021.